Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, we have a haul. These are my favorites. I have tried to kind of stay away, but you know when I see a sale, I'm going to jump on it. So today we have some goodies from Ulta and maybe Sally's. We got a hodgepodge. We got a hodgepodge. I have some other boxes, so, so that's why I'm a little confused, but we're just going to dig into this one. And I'm going to show you guys what I picked up recently. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. If you want to see what I picked up in a random haul, you guys love hauls and I love to shop, then stay tuned and keep on watching. It's not that I don't want you here. This is kind of random. I'm just going to pull out the box because I don't want to take too long. I have a box. I have an Ulta bag right here. So we're just going to start with the bag. First thing in the bag, what do you know? We got a pair of nails. Now, this I hope you guys can see. They have really started upgrading the designs that they have on their nails. This was supposed to be like a Halloween edition, but I think this is so gorgeous because it's like a green holographic teal and I just had to have it. So I actually picked up a few packs of these because I don't know if it's limited edition, but it's the perfect length. I can wear these for about a week, depending on what I have to do for my workout and they last on me. So I like to change my nails up. That is why I pick them up whenever I can get them on sale as often as I can. Actually, everything in this bag is nails. So I'm just gonna speed through these real quick. When I tell you I love those, I picked up three packs of those. Then I also picked up three packs of these because again, the design was absolutely gorgeous. And this was another fall Halloween inspired edition. So this is like a blue, it has a marble with a gold. And I just thought it was so gorgeous. And these would also work well into the winter. The first ones, they say this is their short length. These are not quite short, but they're a good, easy, everyday manageable length. These are a medium length and it's more of a coffin shape. So I usually wear these on a week when I know I'm not gonna be deadlifting too heavy so I don't have to worry about messing them up. I picked up three of those. Then the pair that I have on right now, these are Dashing Diva Magic Press and these are in long. So you can see they have that red ombre and then it fades to black. I will tell y'all right now, I just put these on today and one of them has already popped off and I had to glue it. These are supposed to be just stick on tabs, which I can make last me a week, but this brand is sometimes hit or miss. So I don't know what's up with that. It's like the sticky tabs aren't that sticky. So only have one of this color style. I did pick up another pair from that brand though, and it is also in the long length. These were just too pretty to pass up. It's like a pink and purple ombre. Y'all know purple is my favorite color. And I've said before that I love picking up designs that I cannot paint myself. That would cost a lot of money in the salon. I don't go to the salon to do my nails. So this is when I have my nails done. This is also, a lot of the ones I get are by Kiss. So we're just gonna put that out there. You're gonna see that a lot. This is also another Kiss pair. This is more of their, these are still really cute. Um, they're like a glitter. They're not really an ombre. So they're more, not regular, but kind of regular versus like all the different designs with the accent nails. But I thought this was gorgeous. It would be perfect for the holidays. Who's thinking about Christmas already? I don't know, but I just, I thought they were pretty. These next two pairs are different, but they're the same type. These actually glow in the dark. These are also by Kiss Impress. And one is this black, it's a matte black with a marble finish on one of the nails and then it has some rhinestones. I just thought this was so pretty and perfect for fall and winter. I'm not sure which part glows in the dark. Probably the white, I'm guessing, would make sense. But I just thought this was pretty and it is gonna, it kind of looks elegant with that marble and the silver. So definitely had to get those. 
And then the next pair also glow in the dark. This is a navy blue pair. Now I am gonna probably try to wear these closer to Halloween because they have bats on them. I think I planned on throwing the ones away that have the bats unless I need to wear them because that's just not my cup of tea. But the blue and then the sparkles here at the bottom, I think are so pretty, just these two rows and may not even wear those. I don't know, but again, these cost around $10, maybe $11, $12. You get them at Ulta, you get your $3.50 off of $15, 20% off. This is drugstore, so you get a lot of those coupons. You can get these on sale. This is another Impress. <laughs> Y'all, I lost my mind. I don't know. This is another Impress pair. I don't like gluing stuff on my nails, so if it has different designs that are just press on with the glue tabs, I'm going to pick it up if I like it. This is Alice and Olivia. I guess this is a collaboration pair that they decided to do. I'm not sure. So I just thought this was really pretty. Honestly, this looks more like kind of springtime, but I don't care about that. I wear my nails when I want. And I thought it was pretty how it kind of has that, I don't know the words. Um, mm, I don't know. Y'all comment below if you can tell me what this pattern is, but I just thought it was cute and I love the different colors. I got two of those. Then the next one, um, this is the Impress. So this is like their couture, really nice, kind of elegant pair. I thought these were so pretty. It's kind of like a nude, but I love that this looks orange because it would be perfect for me to wear at a meet that I'm working. I'm not actually competing. So I just thought these were super pretty. Those rhinestones are a little big, but you know, maybe for a special occasion, they're gonna look cute or I just won't wear them and I'll wear the other two. So I thought this one was really pretty as far as the color scheme. And then this is also the Kiss Special Effects Special Design Glow in the Dark. You guys have actually seen these in a video. I think when I did my declutter, I had these on. These are glue on and they do glow in the dark. And I thought that was pretty cool. These are very long for me. As soon as I finish the video, I cut them because this is not real life. For me, I can't do it. I'm probably gonna cut the ones I have on too, but they look cute for videos. And like, if I'm just doing, I'm going out, but like the next day, no, we can't work with that that long. But I thought these were pretty and I love the design. I think this is the last nail product I have. I'm not sure, but it was on sale. I think it was like, it says that it's $10, but it's a yellow sticker. And I think it was like 50 or 75% off. I don't remember. But this is a dip powder. You guys have seen me do a video on my channel with dip powders. And I love this shade of purple. It says it's the color 399 Vintage Vibes by the brand Red Carpet. Um, it doesn't look as dark. Like this looks almost like neon. But then when you look at it out of the pack, it looks more lavender. So hopefully when you put the activator, it'll come out to look like it does on this pack. Otherwise, I'm going to be mad. Next, I have a pair of lashes and I have kind of been gravitating back towards my magnetic lashes. The ones I have on right now are magnetic and oh, see my corner is about to pop up. Um, these seem to be working better for me than my other lashes lately. I don't know if it's just the glue. I don't know why I'm still struggling with this so much, but it is really frustrating. But this is the Ardell Magnetic Mega Hold Lashes. As you can see, see that sale sticker right there? I got these on sale and these actually have a magnetic band across the whole lash versus just having the little tabs. So I was, I'm was, i hoping that these will last even longer and stay on even better. So especially because they were on sale, had to pick these up. Next, we're gonna move on to hair products. I am still battling shedding and dryness with my hair. So I need to dig through the products that I have because I've been through this cycle and I've used stuff before, but when I see something on sale, I'm like, oh, let me try that. So I was reading about porosity on hair and honestly, I'm having trouble figuring out if I have low porosity or high porosity. They said you can do a test where if you put a strand of your hair in water and it floats, then that tells if it's one or the other. Because if your hair does not absorb water easy, it tends to be drier and it's hard to get it moisturized. There's a whole story behind it, but I bought low porosity and high porosity. And that's how I'm going to figure out what works for me because... 
the test, my hair floated on top. And then when I kind of poked it down, like it still kind of floated for a second and then went down. So y'all let me know if y'all know what that means. I picked up the Shea Moisture Mong Mongongo and Jojoba Oil High Porosity Moisture Replenish Shampoo and Mask. These were on sale for, I think, buy one, get one half off. And I had a 20% coupon, so I just went ahead and decided to try these. I have not used it yet, but I will be washing my hair tomorrow, so I am definitely going to be trying this soon. I also picked up a serum from Grow Gorgeous. This is their Intelligent Hair Care Intense Hair Density Serum Yellow Sticker. So it was on sale, did not pay this price for it, but this is regularly $50. So maybe it's just in my head, but I feel like if it's expensive, then it may work better. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to go with it. It says this is a hair density serum for fine thinning hair. And this is just to put on your roots. You're supposed to apply 20 drops on towel dried hair. But then it says use once per day. So I don't wash my hair every day. I don't know if I can still use it every day since I don't, but... I guess I'll have others, so maybe I'll just use this one on wash day and then use the others in between. I also picked up my WOW, my Color WOW Root Cover Up Powder. I freaking love this stuff, and I love it because once you put it on your hair, it does not transfer. So it's just a powder that comes with a little brush, and they have different shades. Where are my scissors? Um, they have different shades. I use dark brown. I don't like the black because if it gets on my scalp sometimes, it is like way too harsh. And I don't dye my hair as much right now. So I'm really using this to kind of cover my grays. But it just comes in this sleek little case. And then this is the brush that it comes with. And then this is what the powder looks like. So you can see it is a dark brown but I just think it works really well whenever my hair is looking a little thin in the front because it's time to wash it and it's flattened to my head. Or when my grays are showing a lot in my part, I can cover it up and don't have to worry about dyeing it. So I travel with that. This is another hair product. This is the Sea Extend Ultimate Color by Aquage. Aquage? A Listen. Silkening Power Infusion Instant Repair Treatment. This is a leave-in product that is supposed to fuse your hair with nutrients to regenerate strength, integrity, and moisture. Everything that I'm looking for right now is about moisture because I feel like that is also contributing to some breakage that I have, which is not normal for me. I've been stressed. It is what it is. Life happens to people, so... I'm just trying to do as much damage control as I can to minimize the hair loss until things balance back out and life is a little less stressful. This is another serum. This is the, it's a 10, which I haven't tried this one before. It's the Scalp Restore Miracle Calming Spray. I picked this up because when it's time to wash my hair, my scalp will get itchy and I will sometimes see flakes. But if I'm going to go work out tomorrow, I'm not washing my hair the night before and I know I'm going to sweat it out. So I try to give myself like a little more time. And sometimes when I put oils on my scalp, it makes my hair itch even more. So I'm hoping that this will help calm the itching, calm the dryness in between washes. We have a few more hair products. This first one is the Pure Pura Door, which I have never tried this brand this is their professional grade biotin shampoo and conditioner. This is probably coming upstairs with me to, oh, I said I was going to use the Shea Moisture. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know. I kind of want to try this one. It says clinically tested to help reduce thinning hair. Shea Moisture is for moisture. I appreciate, but we're working on the shedding right now. So maybe I'll do this one first. Um, this was on sale and... It had really great reviews, so that's why I wanted to try it. It is kind of expensive, which is why I was even more excited to get it on sale. Hopefully, I don't fall in love with it because if it's good, I'm going to buy it whether it's on sale or not. Last but not least of the hair products, I picked up the Biolage Strength Recovery Strength Repairing Spray. This is another leave-in conditioner. Y'all, I use leave-in conditioner like water. I use it when I wash my hair. I use it when I need to kind of tame my new growth to make it easier to comb and manage. 
So it is nothing for me to go through one of these bottles fairly quickly. So I always try to pick up, especially high-end brands, on sale. We're going to move into some makeup. These were items that were on sale that I have wanted to try or feel like I use pretty regularly. The first one is this Uoma Beauty Fro to Go 3-in-1 Brow Kit. I do not think I have this. I believe I have their brow gel, but I don't have this. And I was attracted to this. Nothing else in this box? No. Because it's supposed to be a brow pencil and a highlighter. So this is the packaging right here. Super sleek, shiny. So you have the pencil, which is the pencil that I like. It has that kind of fatter tip like the brow definer and the, which one is she right here? Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So I was excited about that. It is retractable. I got mine in the shade number five. And then the other side, you have a spoolie. Where's my powder? Oh, so there's part one and then there's part two. Interesting. So yeah, that's a nice little kit all in one. So this, if I like the color, would be something I would put in my travel bag. I also finally decided to try this. I have looked at this for years. Y'all know my obsession with setting powders. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I got it in the shade, I believe this is translucent. This is original, so I think it's translucent. I do love my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm hoping that this is gonna be similar to this. This is like an OG brand, been around for a while. I don't hear anybody talk about this anymore, and I don't know if that's just because better things have come along, or everybody just knows it's good and it's a staple, and I should have bought it already. So. I will try this out soon because if there's flashback or anything I don't like about it, I'm going to bring it back. Next, I picked up the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. This was on sale, I think, for 50% off. I have this, but I have it in a super, super brightening shade. And this one is in the shade number eight. I got this one because I wanted something, although this looks very close to my skin tone. This is a little more olive. And I wanted something that I could use just for spots. Yeah, I wanted something that I could just use for spots because lately when I've been doing more no makeup makeup looks, I will just put concealer around my dark spots and under my eyes, put a brightening powder to lighten it under my eyes but not make it too crazy and just blend it out. You'll still see it a little bit but it looks more like skin instead of doing a full face of makeup and I know this concealer is full coverage and it lasts a long time, so I wanted to get one more my shade. This was also something else on sale. I'm gonna stop saying that because let's just assume it all was. This is the JCAP Masterclass Face FX Color Palette. I picked this up because I do want to get into doing makeup for clients. And I know, I realize not everybody's gonna want a drugstore option but I feel like I'm the type I want to practice and I want to make sure that I'm feeling confident about my skills on other people before I just jump in and start charging and so if a client comes to me and they don't have the right shade or they want to do contouring or whatever and they don't have that I wanted to have something that would allow me to work with them on that without it breaking the bank, especially if I'm not charging. So this is what this looks like. So I'm happy that it has this super deep shade, but these shades can all be mixed and matched to find the right tone for a client or to highlight color correct and all of that. It also kind of reminds me of the Makeup Forever face palette that they have, which you'll see in another haul video because I did pick that up. But um, yeah, it kind of reminded me of that. So I'm like, maybe this will be a good comparison. Is this a good drugstore option? So might have to do a comparison video on that. This is another product that I found on the clearance rack at Ulta. This is the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. I have not tried these and I thought that this could be just another like a eye sh oh, oh, I thought I broke it. My scissors. Um, Like an eyeshadow primer or just a matte like lid shade if it's light enough. Maybe not, but let's see. 
Oh, yeah, she might be. Um, oh, yeah, that is definitely light enough. So if I wanted to do just a matte, like soft glam, this would be another option to be able to use besides concealer. I'm wondering if this, I'm going to keep it on my hand, see how it dries matte, if it's budge proof and all that. $16 and it was on sale for at least half off. Sorry, I didn't tell you the shade. This is in Smell Before Rain. It says long lasting wear, creamy, water resistant, allows time to blend before locking down as a crease free, smudge free matte finish. So yeah, I think that would be perfect. Next, I picked up the Morphe Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shaping Wax. I have not tried any brow wax products at all. And I've been kind of thinking about, I wanted to get the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but y'all know that is expensive. Then I thought about getting the e.l.f. brand and I just haven't done it yet because I'm waiting for a sale. And so I feel like I'm looking for something to try this out. I feel like it'll kind of be the same. So you can see right here that it is clear. I'm just gonna put my spoolie in it. Oh, this is not gonna work well. Like my spoolie's not really easily fitting the whole thing in there. Oh, maybe it did, so let's see. I can definitely feel, I'm gonna let that sit. I feel this on my brows, like it feels sticky. I can see that that separated them and it's kind of holding them up so they look a little more bushy. Interesting. We'll see how it lasts, but I've just been curious about trying this. So I picked up a brand that was gonna put it on sale first. So that is it for the makeup. I do have some skincare products. My skin has been doing really, really well. Every now and then I get a little breakout. I think I have something happening over here right now. I felt this morning. But a lot of times when I get a breakout these days, it's like maybe one, like this little thing. It's because I'm trying different stuff. Go figure. So I picked up the Zit Sticker Killer Patches. And I picked up a few of them because they have different ones. So this is the Deep Access Patch. This only comes with four in it. And these are expensive. So I'm hoping they work really well for the price. But these are for under the skin um, the other dots that I have, I got off of Amazon. It's more for if you can already see, like, if it's white, you put those on, it draws everything out, you take it off, and it just kind of pulls it with it. But when you get those deep under the skin ones, those don't work. So I wanted to pick this up. Actually, yeah, these are all the same. <laughs> I didn't pick up three. Yeah, I picked up some other ones. So I picked up three of these, so 12 total. And then the other ones are the... Zit Sticker Goo Getter Surface Extraction Dots. So these are the ones that you put on top of something that already has a head on it. These are 36 patches in each one. And it also says that they have niacinamide in them. I wonder why. Oh, then infused them with exfoliating fuss fighting ingredients for an added super boost. So hopefully that'll help you not get dark spots easier. But again, these were pricey and I think they were on a, like the fall sale or something like that. I don't know, but I didn't pay full price for them. I also picked up the Love Wellness Probiotics. This is just for helping you to digest your food better when I'm in prep and I am eating a lot of protein. A lot of protein will sometimes make it hard for you to go to the restroom. And you should be using the restroom at least minimum once a day. I've been told you're supposed to use the bathroom every time you eat. I've never. <laughs> so if you do, congratulations to you. But that is not me. So I'm happy it's a good day if I go twice a day. But once a day is usually my norm. So I feel like when I add probiotics, it helps everything to digest better. So... I'm trying to keep some brand of probiotics in my pantry to keep it regular. Another skincare item, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots. This has 4% niacinamide and 1% ethyl vitamin C. This brand gets really good reviews on their skincare products and I have never tried them. 
anything that has something for dark spots, I'm going to pick it up because mine are getting better and I'm feeling more confident going without makeup, but it's still a process. I'm still treating it. And every now and then when I do get a little bump, no matter how small it is, it leaves a scar. So for me, it's now more preventative while I'm waiting for the others to fade. And then when the new ones pop up, catching it before it gets too dark. So again, skincare can be expensive. I want to try to get it at a discount. Next, I have this Exuviance Bright Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. This was on the clearance rack and I picked it up because it was really, really expensive. And even the lady who checked me out was like, whoa, you got a good deal on this. I don't remember all the prices. I was actually out of town. Yeah, I was out of town when I bought this and I just was like, yeah, we're going to have to find a way to fit this in my bag because it needs to come back. This says it hydrates and firms and reduces the look of dark circles. I think I was also out of eye cream in my travel bag, which helped push me in the direction of buying this. But I haven't, I maybe tried it a couple of times, not enough to say if it works or not, but I did like how it felt when I put it on. And then another product from the same brand, I picked up their targeted lip filler. Now, do I need lip filler? Absolutely not. But I've been into plumping stuff. So I saw this, this brand is really expensive and it has really good reviews. And I had a coupon and it was on sale. So yes, yes, yes. Checks all the boxes. So this I'm thinking I will probably keep in my purse. It says squeeze it until a small bead appears at the tip of the applicator. Smooth across lips. Oh, smooth directly across lips and then apply around and above the lip where there are lines. Use twice daily. A slight tingling might occur. I don't have lines across the top, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this on right now just because I wanna see. Probably not supposed to put it on with makeup, but it doesn't say, so. We're gonna try, but let's see on camera if it does anything. And then my last product that I picked up, this is the Sunday Riley. Y'all know this is an expensive brand. Auto Correct Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. This will be another one that I want to travel with because it says brightening and depuffing. I sometimes get a little crazy with my diet when I'm out of town and I, my, the first thing to show it is my eyes. My upper eyelid is puffy. My lower eye bags are super puffy. And I will lay in bed with a, with a cold towel on my eyes to try to minimize it before I get up and start getting ready. So felt like this would be a great tool to have in my bag to combat those other bags. So hopefully this works well. It was really expensive, so I'm glad I got it on sale. If it doesn't do that much, it's still a great brand and it has great ingredients. But yeah, I hope it does well with depuffing. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This wasn't as makeup heavy as it normally is, but that's not all that I shop for. I just wanted to share more of the other stuff that I buy because I don't know. Sometimes you guys ask me about my nails. Sometimes I've had people ask me about hair products and different stuff. So I just like to share with y'all. Y'all know how it is. Share sharing is caring. You know, that's how that goes. So thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.